$120,000 in California real estate, that's nothing. But that can stretch incredibly far across the USA. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Nails Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. We're going to help people like you invest their funds in real estate. Today, we're working with a guy from California, Adan. You have $120,000. You're in California. If you're in California, you're trying to invest in real estate, and you got $120K, you ain't going to get far, right? No, you ain't going to get far, dog. No, not far at all. But go to cheaper markets like the cleveland market where my team is located we can really stretch that right as far as boots on the ground actually operating the investments we handle all that on your behalf property management maintenance construction insurance title work landscaping you name it we do it right we're your full service team right and with your 121 uh, 120,000 budget man we could really get you a, a lot of real estate okay you're looking to take that 120k and turn it into $350 a month in passive cash flow. We currently are under contract for you on a duplex. Well, we're very close, right? It looks like it's going to get wrapped up today, right? In addition to that, today I'm going to show you a quad, right? That should kick off basically triple your cash flow goals by itself, right? So you have this quad and that duplex, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, your goal was to take your 120K and turn it into $350 a month in passive cash flow. We are probably going to be four to five times that when it's all said and done because we should, even after this quad, have money left over to pick up even one more property. So let's jump into the numbers on this right after this quick break. Hey, lenders. Our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Welcome back. Let's dive right into the numbers. This is a nice one. I like this one quite a bit, okay? 3332 Walton Avenue, Cleveland, 44113. Priced at $199,000. That is a solid price for this. Now, it's a very competitive market. It's rare that stuff stays on the market for 44 days. This was off the market. Now it's back on, right? Probably fell out of contract. That's, I know some people look at that and they freak out like, oh, my God, a different investor backed out. It must be something crazy. It must be a red flag. Folks, if it is a red flag, we'll figure that out when we do the home inspection. But, uh, you know, more often than not, in this business, I see uh, fresh real estate investors uh, get under contract, realize they're in over their head and back out. It happens quite often, right? Uh, with the amount of volume I do, I, I, I see hundreds uh, of investors back out of deals, whether they're deals I'm involved in, other deals on the market, every single year, right? It's just very common. So don't look into that too deeply. In real estate, we trust but verify, right? If there is a major issue with this property that makes it a no-go, we will establish that on our own through your third-party home inspection. But from what I'm seeing, I like the investment, okay? This is a pretty solid deal, right? They have gone in and renovated this sucker. It looks pretty good, okay? This is a triplex with a single-family home on the lot as well, right? So you got a triplex up front with a single-family uh, in the back, right? We got neutral colors throughout, right? They went with the gray and the white. That's what we do at Holton Wise. They even did some uh, tile work on the back splashes. All in all, this is a pretty solid-looking deal. It's in a low-income neighborhood. You should be aware of that, okay? This is a low-income area, though, right? So it's not the Ritz-Carlton. Your rents are going to remain fairly low, right? This is your D.C. class investing, folks. So what you're getting, you're getting low-income tenants. As far as what the listing agent had to say, great investment opportunity near Tremont. Yes, it's close to Tremont, but again, you're in a D.C. area. Remember that. This unique income-generating property offers a total of four units, three family and a single family on one, on one lot, and many upgrades. The front unit is currently fully occupied with a total of three tenants. The updated rear property offers... 
Three space, spacious bedrooms, a large eat-in kitchen, newer windows, and over 800 square feet. Making this property a total gem. Within walking distance to local schools, parks, shops, supermarkets, and restaurants. Schedule your showing today. This one won't last long. Now, as far as the current rents, we have reached out to this real estate agent to get those. She has not been able to provide them, but we need to move quickly, right? In these situations, what is more important than what the current person is renting the units for is what the market rent is, right? If you look at an investment like this in its totality, uh, what, what the rental income per unit is at one tiny little point in time when a investor whom we don't know, we don't know their level of skill or sophistication or qualification, what they're renting the units for is irrelevant. It's what can we replicate, right? So as far as the market rents, right, we're looking at 750, 750, 600, 1,000, right? 31 a month, 37,200 a year. Add in our fixed and variable expense estimates on performance. I anticipate this property pulling in a NOI of 20519 As for price, they're at 199 I said we go 1000 above that. Make them a cool, clean, even $200,000 offer. Again, on the market, off the market. Multiple bidders will be interested in this. So we're going very small above list price, but it really feels like it's a lot more to the seller, right? It's like when you go to the store, $1.99 versus $2, right? They feel like they're in the $200,000 range when we come in, right? With the market rent projections, if you're able to get market rents here, that would be a projection of a 26% cash on cash return or a 10-3 cap, right? If you finance it, you're only putting down 50K. That is a solid deal, right? As far as the current rents, hopefully we'll be able to get those uh, during uh, the contingency process. But again, in the, in, you know, in the Cleveland market today, uh, properties are flying, right? Quads are very rare, right? So when you're dealing with other real estate agents, maybe they get us that info up front, maybe they don't. It wouldn't make sense to me uh, to, to wait on putting in an offer because again most important is what the investment's going to do for the long haul right if you own an investment for 30 years you get a 30 year loan right you own it for 30 years what it does at one tiny little minute time in place is irrelevant and that goes both ways that goes for if their current rents are above what I gave you for market rents or below right some people see it above and they think oh it's worth more just cuz they got a tenant to pay 800 for a $750 unit one time does not add value to the deal, right? If there was another property exactly the same and there was a tenant paying market versus that 800, it's not like you should arbitrarily pay more. What that one person did at one point in time is fairly irrelevant. So it goes both ways. So let me know what you want to do. I find this to be a solid opportunity. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.